excited guys because today I'm going to unbox a brand new BMW R13000 GS. It's right here. Come, come and see the box. We have to take it out of the box and then we will start it. I'm so excited. This is the Tramontana 709 option. It's filled with new things. It's the first time I see this bike and I can't wait to do it. Let's go. The bike is around 98% changed for 2024. It's a different engine, a different frame and different looks. Now it has a, a adaptive cruise control, a matrix LED light on the front. It has uh, stoplights like the BMW. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, this is so fun. It has stoplights like on the S1000 double R, a different exhaust. Everything looks slimmer. It has lost some weight and the engine is more compact and narrower. So the whole bike became a bit more aggressive. I hope it will be even better and it will feel a lot more better than, than the previous model on off-road and on-road. Just finished with the cutter and I'm about to take the lid off. Come here and check it out because this car looks amazing in this light. Oh, come on, come on. Let's check it out. It has gold accent. It has a gold handlebar, gold spoked wheels. Check out this engine. It's so slim compared to the previous model. It's super slim. I love it. Check out this new headlight. Look, it's like an X. It has lights on uh, this four uh, sides and the matrix LED inside should provide a lot of light because considering from the cars, this thing is such a, oh, check out this 709 option. You have this brake that you can adjust only by turning this knob here. It looks quite cool. And we have to fit the handlebar, the windshield. There are some things in the bottom over there, but I want to check some more because it's looking so, so, nice the frame is different the saddles are different they are in the same wave as the uh, gas tank you have the gas tank over here this is an aluminium gas tank and the trim panel over it so up here and here it's the gas tank it looks a lot better than i imagined it, it's even better than in the photos check out the suspension and the way the handlebar it's fitted on the triple tree over here it has a rubber cushion so it will absorb the vibrations and uh, it will give you a plush ride while going uh, for a spin we have a depository over here a pouch that you can open and you will have the key it's a nice looking key different from the previous model it looks just like the ones on the car it opens like this but you don't need it open it will go like keyless right it's a standard version now with the keyless ride and check out check out that you have a button over here instead of the button that you used to have in the middle this is quite nice okay let's take let's take the box apart because i want to see some more we have to take off this plastic joint in order to be able to see some more of the bike oh i think i have to remove these things also i, I don't want to scratch the bike Some wood, okay. I have to remove some of them on this side also. Okay, and now for the moment of truth, we are about to see the whole bike. This beautiful R. 13,000 GS. I hope I won't scratch something. Ta-da! Check out the engine because this is the most important part. It's now with 50cc larger than the previous model. It has more power and more torque. It produces 145 uh, HP and 149 Newton meters of torque. More than your average car the engine is narrower slimmer the cylinders are narrower i can tell that just by looking at them we have this option 709 details over here the gearbox it's underneath the engine you have a different 
oil gauge over here and the uh, filling of the oil is not on the cylinder anymore it's over here i uh, learned from uh, from the bmw guys that it now is, it now uses five liters of oil instead of four like the previous model lots of details check out these brakes these are bmw brakes with brembo logo on their back they are beefier and i'm uh, i'm uh, more than sure that they are very very strong in order to stop this machine from going too fast the frame is also different check out the frame we have this uh, black metal frame here holding the rear you have uh, the same uh, steel frame in the, in the top area holding the suspension and the parallel uh, lever which are also different for this year they are changed they are evo models so you have a new option for the suspension self-adjusting and uh, doing even better uh, at uh, offering you the most comfortable uh, ride that you can get one small detail that i've noticed here check it out because it's so cool you have this uh, knob over here that you can take off when you connect the panniers you will have a new usb plug inside them so you can charge your um, phone or your cameras uh, no matter what and you can also uh, use it so it's quite a feature this one you have the radar on the back which will tell you through the mirrors if something is in your blinded spot you have a radar over here and i think the mirrors are in these boxes that i found right now let's check out the mirrors yes these are the mirrors and you connect the mirrors through a plug that's here in the front and it will show you if somebody is in your back check it out so it goes with with a connection just like this and an even cooler feature you have the hand was that have turn lights inside them Ta-da! so this will come up let's check it from the front this will add up over here and you will have the turn lights inside it i have to say it's it's looking quite strong but i don't know if it will be the best idea to get your bike off-roading with this ones you have you have the toolbox still you can take them off no problem but it look it looks quite good super good i've told you lots of things but i'm super excited because this is the first time i i see this bike and i forgot to take this part out okay everything looks so good check out the brakes the details in on these brakes are quite good they are bmw logos on them and inside you can see the brembo so this should offer lots of stopping power also the front lever over here it's uh, beefier but smaller i think it looks different you have some cables going in and out to the front suspension it will change everything let's take the key out of the pouch and use it to open the saddle because over here we will connect the uh, battery which is now uh, lighter it's uh, a lithium battery just like the ones on the race bikes it will help you a lot okay so this one is heated the saddle is heated and check out you can still do the the part when you raise up your two position for the saddle let me put the key aside and i will show you you have a button over here which goes up and down you might say nothing is happening but check this out the saddle goes up boom i don't think you can see it very well but it will raise up your bum if you want to go higher you have the battery over here uh, from what i've read uh, uh, it's not charged it should be charged and the cables should be connected you have the positive the negative of here and also the communication for the uh, connection with with the bike to put your laptop on 
So the whole suspension thing is changed because you get, will get more feeling from the front because everybody was saying that BMW doesn't offer you that much feeling while going over. This time, everything is different over here. They, they, they made a, a different job. We will have to check it out in order to see what's happening with, with the whole package. You have a different luggage system over here. It's made out of ABS plastic. It, uh, it's a bit soft when you touch it, but I know for sure that it will hold the, the rear uh, top box. I don't know if this one is the one that will stay on the bike. You also have this luggage system left and right to put your panniers. What else has changed over here? Even the, uh, the shaft is different. It's machined different and everything has changed. I lost myself into details because there are so many things that I, I need to absorb from this bike. I can't wait to start it up. So I think it's for sure I won't be able to start this one up. I will take everything aside. I will put it, um, I will put it on the ground. And afterwards, luckily me, I have a different bike over there. It's the triple black edition that was fitted with everything on and I can start it up. But let's finish with this one first. Take off the straps from the back, left and right. I don't want to scratch anything or drop the bike. I'll hold it next to me and then I'll remove this one bit by bit. Okay. So remove the one on the left side, on the right side. Okay. Now I will need your help camera guy because I want to take it off. <laughs> it's the first time I, I get to put my hands on, on this 13,000 GS. And I have to say, uh, it's at uh, the first feeling, it feels a bit lighter than the previous model. I hope they kept the masses low as on the 1250 GS. I didn't got on it. Let's get on the bike. Man. It's so different. It's super different from the previous model from the 1250. I am sitting with my sole entirely on the ground. The handlebar has the same wideness. I think it's quite the same. And the position is a bit more relaxed. I feel like, uh, like a, on a touring machine, a sports touring machine. I can lean with it very fast, but it feels, it feels quite awesome. It's slim in between your legs. Uh, you won't have that problem hitting the cylinders because they are a bit further right now. It's a bit changed, a lot changed actually, but I like it. It's super nice. The GS13000 Taramunta. Ooh, ooh. Uh, luckily for me, I have to fit lots of things on this bike in order to start it up. The uh, prepare for delivery, it's uh, uh, going to be made by the specialists here at the shop. Meanwhile, we have a triple black version that we can uh, check out the engine sound. We can start it up because this uh, machine was already fitted with all the parts. Come and check out the turn lights because I want to see them fit it on. You have the mirrors on and the windshield. Very important. The windshield right now, it's electric. You have to press this button and we will go up and down. Let's see how this bike works. Okay. And are you ready to start it? Let's get it to life. The engine sound is not that different comparing to the previous model, but let's check out the menu because the menu is quite important. We have it over here. We have the menu. You have to press this button and it will get you to the multi wipe and the controller will get you to the um, cruise control, heated grips and the windshield. Let's get on the windshield. Okay. So 
Now we have set the windshield up and down. Important feature for the new uh, GS13000. So you can leave it down while going off-road and get it up while touring. It's quite high and I think it will fit even the taller riders. But let's check out what else is different over here. So you get the, more, the suspension system over here. You can change it to dynamic, to road, road dynamic. And it makes sounds while pressing the buttons because the bike will lift up and down. So nice. The cruise control remains here and it's easy to use. The controller is like on the previous model, but the thing that is changed, you have to stop it from here. Oh, I forgot. Let's start the turn lights for a bit. How do they look? Huh? Quite nice. Uber nice. So if you're wondering how much light this headlight will provide, I think a lot. So this being said, I'll stop the bike and uh, hopefully we'll get to ride it as soon as possible because I'm super eager to ride the new GS13000. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. See you guys.